Welcome to the Empire Builders Podcast, teaching business owners the not-so-secret techniques that took famous businesses from mom and pop to major brands. Stephen Semple is a marketing consultant, story collector, and storyteller. I'm Stephen's sidekick and business partner, Dave Young. Before we get into today's episode, a word from our sponsor, which is, well, it's us. But we're highlighting ads we've written and produced for our clients. So here's one of those. I'm Sir Richard Poshingham. And I'm Mark Tapper from Tapper's Jewelry. I'm sorry, Mark. Can you say that again? Tapper's Jewelry? Bobble that just a bit. Jewelry. Mm, still haven't got it. You are familiar with that word, aren't you? Jewelry. Sounds right to me. And only you. Still, it's not like it's your area of expertise. <laughs> Look, I may not be a professional announcer, but I know one thing for sure. Nobody cares more about helping you find exactly the right jewelry than I do. My father, Howard Tapper, built his life in the jewelry business, and I'm doing my best to live up to his example. But surely he could at least say it. Howard, would you demonstrate? Of course. Jewelry. Come on, Mark. It's not that hard. Jewelry. <laughs> Feeling a bit ganged up on. You try to bring them up, right? Tappers, tell us your story. At Tappers, we want to hear how you say jewelry. Straighten me out at tappers.com. You also say tappers a bit funny. I give up. Tappers. Can we roll the next commercial, please? Steven, today we're going to talk about hair. Hair, man. And, and like, I could use a little more. I, uh, <laughs> but no, I, well, we're not talking hair replacement. Don't worry. No, not. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> I'm also a customer. Uh, <laughs> I've got long enough hair that I, I maybe could be a customer of this of this company. We're talking about Dry Bar. Yep, Dry Bar. And there are probably a lot of guy business owners that don't have any awareness of this company. No, no idea probably whatsoever. So what Dry Bar does is this thing called blowouts. Blowouts. So blowouts. Yeah. So blowouts are when you go to a hair salon and they basically use just a hair dryer and brushes and shape and sculpt your hair in a particular way and it's called it's called a blowout. Oh, I definitely need this. Yeah, yeah, you could <laughs> need this. You, me? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> when I came across the story of Dry Bar, here's the thing that blew me away. So it was started, it, it was founded by Allie Webb and she had this idea and she was a hairstylist and sort of saw how the whole business model worked and went, you know, I think this business would be a lot easier if all you had to do was no cuts, no styling, and all you had was a hair dryer and a couple of brushes. That would be a really easy business. And so why not just do these blowouts? Just do that. Just do a business on that. Today, they have 50 salons and they're doing $70 million in revenue. $70 million in just 50? In just 50 stores, $70 million in revenue, just doing blowouts. That's amazing. But here's the thing. If, if somebody came to you and said and this, and, and, and look, sometimes there's just these nutty ideas that, that work. If somebody came to you and said, Hey, I want to do this. You'd probably be like, are, are you nuts? No one's going to be interested in just that. Even when they opened, they did a bunch of social media promotion and things along that lines in their first eight hours. Now granted it was just her when she opened, but in her first eight hours, they booked six weeks out. That's insane. Right? It's amazing. Now, one of the big things that they do that has also managed to catch a lot of social media and things along that lines is they actually really make it an experience. So one of the things that they do is they do this big deal where you're sitting. So how you know how most hair salons, you sit and you look in the mirror and they cut your hair. They don't do that. You're They're not sitting, cutting hair, right? You're, right. But you sit with your back to the mirror and they do the whole thing. And then there's the big spin you around, ta-da! Look how beautiful you are, right? It's like the home improvement reveals, right? So they do this. So a big part of what they do is in the customer experience is this big reveal and they make a big deal of it. And everybody's like, oh my God, it looks so amazing, right? So they've also managed to build in this experience, which makes people go, oh, that's awesome. I want to do that again. I've got this, you know, anniversary dinner or there's this gala I'm going to or there's or there's this, I'm, I'm getting together with the girlfriends or whatever. And, and they don't, want to do the full haircut, but they just want to look great, dry bar. They, they go and do it. And it's ended up becoming a hugely successful business, especially when you consider, look how little infrastructure you need. You need a mirror, you need a chair, you need a hair dryer, you need some brushes. Boom, done. Yeah. Right? That's really cool. And so they're, they're growing. They're, uh, they're, they're big. Growing. And then the technique here is it was, was more subtractive than anything else, right? It was, let's look at an existing model and get rid of everything that's not blow drying your hair. 
Yeah, that's a great observation because what most of us do is what more can we do? What more can we do? What more can we do? What more services can we layer on? And instead what they went, they went pivoted completely opposite direction, as you said, and said, let's just do this thing, Mm -hmm. this thing, this thing that's actually unnecessary. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it, 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 it is, but it isn't. I mean, when you're talking about an emotional purchase, right, this is hundred percent that hundred percent emotional. Oh, it it, it completely is. Yeah. I want to look good for these people that I'm going to see later today. And I actually don't need my haircut. I just need it to look better. I feel like the trend in, in even in home service companies lately has been, um, let's just start adding, 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 right? Yeah. We're, a, we're a plumber, so we need to start doing air conditioning and we need to find an electrician and then we need to uh, start doing solar and maybe we'll replace roofs and, blah, and and pretty soon now you're everything to everybody versus a plumber who says, you know what? I'm just going to do the drains. I'm going to be roto rooter right? And that's, that's it. Well, and, 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 and there's an interesting idea in all that, because now dry bar, if you come across dry bar, you know what they do. It's very clear what they do. And it's very clear how they are different than a salon. So mm-hmm. it's a differentiation, and it creates a different space in your head. If you're another salon that has just added a service that other salons don't have, Sometimes it's still hard to stand out because you're another you're another salon or yeah. or or if you do the whole thing of well, instead of being a plumber I'm going to be a home services company and do everything under the roof it's very hard. Stay tuned we're going to wrap up this story and tell you how to apply this lesson to your business right after this. Brought to you by the Least Full of Shit Marketers Association of America. Yes, that's a low bar, but we clear it mightily. We're also the largest pay-per-performance branding group in North America, and that part's for reals. If you're looking for advertising advice geared towards local owner-operated companies, this is your podcast. And now you can pick the brains of these advertising geniuses over lunch without having to pay for lunch or even leave your office. We're talking 90 minutes of straight answers to all your burning questions about lead generation, customer acquisition, mass media branding, how to get off the paper crack treadmill, anything you want. And the only coin required is candor because we can't give no bullshit advice without basing it off no BS data on your company, competitive landscape, operations, and all that jazz. We send you a pre questionnaire. You fill it out candidly and boom. Bob's your uncle, you're in like Flynn, and we'll be frank as fuck in giving you the straight scoop on all the advertising and business growth questions you always wanted to know, but were too afraid to ask. You'll also get our no pitching and no bitching guarantee. No pitching means we won't pitch you or try to sell you in any way. If you want more after 90 minutes, you'll have to ask. And no bitching means if you don't think the meeting was worth your 90 minutes, we'll send you 100 bucks. Consider it us picking up the tab for lunch and putting our money where our mouth is. Sound like a not-so-full-of-shit offer? Well, that is what we're known for. Take us up on it at empirebuildersprogram.com. Let's pick up our story where we left off, and trust me, you haven't missed a thing. Instead of being a plumber, I'm going to be a home services company and do everything under the roof. It's very hard to get somebody to remember you for four different things. It's easier to get somebody to remember you for one thing. For sure. And, and in fact, even the companies that have been very successful at building these multi-tiered things will tell you there's typically one that is, you know, that is the point on the spear. So in mm-hmm. other words, this is the service that brings everybody in. So this is the service that we're known to market to. And then what we do is, now that the person's a customer, we introduce these other services to them. So for example, the heating and air conditioning companies, clients that, that we know, that partners of ours work with, who've branched in the plumbing, they're not advertising the plumbing. They're advertising the heating and air conditioning. Person becomes a heating and air conditioning customer, then they get introduced to the plumbing end of the business. So that's that whole idea of be known for this, bring the customers in under this, and then you can upsell them to the other services Yeah. Later. Uh, make sure you train your people to to spot plumbing problems when you're actually in somebody's house. Now that you're in the house, and if you do a good job and say no, you love you, and you build that trust, it then becomes the it becomes an easy handoff. But less is sometimes more, such as the case of driveway. I love it. I love I love that type of thinking that 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 way of looking at a problem and saying how do we how do we either focus in? I mean, 
it's it's not an unsound business strategy to expand your services and and do lots lots more things if you can manage that terrific but if there's just certain parts of your business that you love and you don't want to do all that other stuff man become known for doing that better than anybody do it um, really well and create a great customer experience. I, I can also think of like i had a friend back in a place i used to live who she she was a, a beautician but she had to stop doing colors and perms because she had developed a, a contact allergy to all the chemicals right so it was just haircuts and and she would probably do a blowout but it was probably before that was even a thing right but i can imagine a customer like that's one of the to me one of the worst things about going into a beauty parlor or, or a spa or whatever you want to call it today is, is oh my gosh, the, the, the smells that are, that are there from, from the, the harsh chemicals that you have to use on people's hair. And so if you just want that experience of, of having people work on your hair and then flip you around and there's the reveal, wow, that's great. So Dave, when you go do it, let us know how it turns out for you. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm going to open up their site and start looking for a location. I don't see one in my current town, but I see one that's only a couple hour drive away. So... <laughs> Send pictures. <laughs> All right. Check them out. Drybar.com. Actually, it's the drybar.com. Very cool business. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Please share us, subscribe on your favorite podcast app, and leave us a big, fat, juicy five-star rating and review at Apple Podcasts. And if you'd like to schedule your own 90-minute Empire Building session, you can do it at empirebuildingprogram.com. Empire Building Program.com.